Hello all, good morning, Trevor Dampier of Trevor Dampier Ministries, a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is Monday, uh, May 17th, and um, you know, some, some excited times, you know, uh, upon us right now. Um, I know um, that they messed up the calendar, right? So we know that the calendar is messed up. Now, uh, my sister in Christ, um, she just had a video because one thing that we know is that, you know, once a tribulation goes forward, that God's going to change the calendars. He's going to shorten the days and stuff. So maybe we saw an adjustment of the calendar. You know what I mean? And maybe that's what happened, although the events still need to take place. But either way, Israel is still in war, you know what I mean, which kicked off on the 10th, which was Jerusalem Day, you know what I mean, that they were celebrating. So it kicked off on a holiday that they were celebrating. So keep that in mind of the significance, you know, and then if that's the case, because Israel's still going to celebrate Pentecost, Israel's still going to be celebrating, you know what I mean, the Feast of Weeks. So we're, we're, we're at that moment in time and it goes from the 16th to the 18th. So today and tomorrow, but I do have something that aligns with that, you know, although we know the calendar's messed up, but keep that in mind that, that God is going to adjust the calendars. You know what I mean? And the days will also be shortened. Remember during Revelation time, you know, a third of the sun, a third of the moon. So daylight and sunlight is going to change. So days and nights are going to be all mixed up. You know what I mean? Once um, these trumpets and the seals and all these things get open. Um, but, but anyway, let's get to the news because once again, there was a lot. So we talked about um, before another brother in Christ. Let me, uh, I got to zoom all the way in so you guys can get these. Um, the 1335 days, you know, which is going to come up to equal May uh, 20th, right? So we know that. Then another brother in Christ did the 1260 days from um, the day that Trump declared Jerusalem as a capital, which equal to May 19th. We also have, you know, on the demonic side, them making that video from 2019 showing the apocalyptic events, you know what I mean, and they're tying it to May 19th and May 20th, you know what I mean, around there. So we got that. But then my brother, another brother in Christ, he did a video showing from the feast days. So he did the count from the September 23rd, 2017, but he did it from the Feast of Trumpets because it's right there. So he's like, let's look at the Feast of Trumpets and then do the count. So he did that count and then it lands on Pentecost, May 18th. <laughs> like, and now that is very relevant, right? When you're when you're thinking about the, the feast days, because now things are really lining up, right? I mean, so you got, you know what I mean, when Jesus left, you know what I mean, that's the barley harvest, right? You know what I mean, Jesus was the first fruits, right? You know what I mean? And then you had the Old Testament saints that, you know what I mean, went up with him, that's barley. Then you have the wheat harvest, you know what I mean? Then you got Pentecost, and then you're going to have one more, you know what I mean, harvest, you know, and, and that is the, the Feast of, of Tabernacles, you know what I mean, right? Uh, and then you that's the, the Feast of Fruits, you know what I mean? There's many different kinds of fruits, you know what I mean? And grapes is one of them, but you also have Israel, you know, that and 144,000, you know what I mean, have to go up and all that, which you would, which you would consider, you know, um, some of the first fruits, although Jesus was the first fruit, but just consider, you know what I mean, um, that as a fruit harvest. So those are three harvests, barley, wheat, and then the fruit harvest, you know what I mean, with many different types of fruit, um, you know, including the, 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 the grapes for the wrath piece. All right. Um, but let's uh, uh, continue, because what I'm really trying to say is, is, dude, this is High Rapture Watch Week. As I've said, I've been waiting for this week for a long time, man. I mean, it's been slow trying to get to this week. So, man, High Rapture Watch once... Um, Man, once we get it, well, I mean, we're in now, but once we get it, like, just forget, today, tomorrow, I was going to start saying for Israel, Count Pentecost, look, today is high watch, tomorrow is high rapture watch, I mean, we got, uh, then you got the 19th and you got the 20th, because that's going to meet that 1335, you know what I mean, and, and many, um, including my brother in Christ that originally shared that, is he believes, and it says it in the scripture, 
that once uh, Noah got in the door and the Lord closed the door, it, that was seven days until, you know what I mean, the thing real hit, really hit. So we believe that it's very likely and possible that we could be uh, up in the clouds and then seven days after that's when um, judgment is going to be hitting, you know what I mean, hard. So um, something to think about, but definitely something to watch about. <laughs> Let's say that. Israel has enough targets to keep striking Hamas in Gaza, says the IDF officers. As the fighting between the Israeli military and terror groups in the Gaza Strip continues, officers from the IDF's target bank are working day and night under fire to provide the military with what it needs. Speaking to the Jerusalem Post from southern Israel in between incoming rocket sirens, Maj T, head of the service to surface rockets, and Mortars Department said his team has been building its target bank for a year and a half <laughs> with officers from the Air Force, Military Intelligence, and the Artillery Corps. I wanted to share this just to let you know this, this thing ain't going nowhere. They've been planning this for a year and a half. <laughs> They've been getting targets ready. So they said they have more than enough to keep going. So they, they're not stopping. So j those of you that are like, ah, oh, this thing ain't going to go nowhere. I mean, this thing's gonna end soon. It, it ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? They're 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 gonna try to put a stop to this thing. They're they're sick of um the uh, Hamas and you know these Iran backed militia constantly bombing them. Um, so they're 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 tired of it and they're gonna um keep pushing. My sister in Christ, uh, she did a great study. Um, talking about uh, the pre-trib rapture versus the second coming. Um, she first goes into why, you know, we believe there's a pre-trib rapture and then, and the understanding of scriptures to it, and then um, how it relates to Jesus coming to get his bride versus the second coming and has all the scriptures aligned with that. I mean, this is a great, great teaching, um, not just for those that, um, don't understand, you know, why uh, there is biblically the understanding and truth that there's a pre-trip rapture. It, it just is who Jesus is. He is the way of escape. And the easiest statement that I always tell people that, that don't believe in a pre-trip rapture, I go, Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. If we are met for judgment, then what is he saving us from? He's saving us from wrath. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. I mean, there is no judgment in Christ Jesus. This is easy to understand, especially if he's gotten you through some things because he's always been my way of escape. I don't have any hope in myself getting me through anything. He's always gotten me through and he's a right on time God, always has been, always will be. And he's gonna be that today for those that choose that side of him. And trust me, you know what I mean? I'm with it. So great teaching, even for those that um, are familiar. Like I love going back and hearing these type of things. I listened to the whole hour, went through it. It reminds me uh, and gives me just that, that faith nugget of knowing what's coming. So it, it's a really, really good video. Nice, simplistic, straight to the point. Um, um, has has a, a big chunk of knowledge on it. I highly suggest that you read it. Or see it, I should say. Pastor Ben had a, uh, another lovely uh, prayer service. You know, once again on uh, Sunday, if you need prayer or if you want to pray for someone or if you um, want someone else to be prayed for, then you can go um, online and then you can submit it. And if we don't pray for it uh, right there, then, you know, um, then we'll get it. The Salt uh, Brothers, um, we will get it and then we will uh, pray for you. So um, either way, you will get that prayer taken care of. My sister uh, in Christ had another prophetic word from the Lord. The Lord's pouring this stuff out about things <laughs> that are about to take place. Um, it's called, O oh, King Biden, God has numbered the days of your reign. You do, you do not honor me. So the Lord speaks uh, directly to Biden and uh, to the nation of America, Babylon, stating he's going to destroy it for its lack of repentance and honor for its creator. Um, the Lord gave her specific words that he gave before destroying Babylon in the past. Um, it was really trippy. I, I had never heard any of these things, but 
Um, he gave her three times in the prophetic message, many, many tekel of harson. Many, many tekel of harson. I was like, what in the world? So uh, during, after Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> in Babylon, there was Belshazzar. And <clears throat> Belshazzar, I'm going to read a little bit of it. But Belshazzar has drunk from the vessels of God's temple without praising him, instead praising the gods of gold, silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone, whom Daniel reprimands, neither see nor hear anything. So Daniel reads the words because Belshazzar was asking somebody to translate these words. Uh, and Daniel reads the words, many, many tekel of Harsin, and interprets them for the king. Many, God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. Tekel, you have been weighed and found wanting and Paris. Your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Then Belshazzar gave the command and Daniel was clothed in purple. A chain of gold was put around his neck and a proclamation was made that he should rank third in the kingdom. And that very night, Belshazzar, the Chaldean, the Babylonian king, was killed. And Darius the Mede received the kingdom. <laughs> do, you, do you see what happened to Balthazar? And this prophetic message is directly at Biden. Directly at him. So, um, <laughs> break yourselves what's coming. Remember, you know what I mean, uh, about the, the, the prophetic uh, 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 word about the kings, about the seventh king, then the eighth king. You know what I mean? It says that um, the... Uh, there was the sixth king, and then there's uh, another king that is there but won't be there long. And then, you know, I mean, the eighth king. Keep telling you, Biden ain't going to be there for four years. He's not. The eighth king is coming, and he's coming very shortly here. That's the Antichrist you're going to see very shortly here. Okay, Wuhan uh, has another disaster. So I pushed um, one the other day. It was like a couple of days ago. But these scary-looking tornadoes hit Wuhan, uh, China, destroying homes and injuring hundreds of people. Dude, this thing looks apocalyptic, dude. Like, you got to go see this video. It is unbelievable. People over there need to repent. Like, seriously, seriously, seriously. All right, let's keep going. I got a lot of stuff. All right, let's go. Um, no, art, no alternative to vaccine passports, says Dubai airport boss. The boss of the world's busiest airport for international passengers has said COVID passports are the only way to restart mass foreign travel. Dubai airport's chief executive, Paul Griffiths, told the BBC, I don't think there is an alternative. Critics of the digital systems argue they discriminate against those who cannot get vaccinated. But Mr. Griffith says he is a complete supporter of the documents, which he says are inevitable. I agree. It's inevitable. They're going to come out. You're going to start seeing your jobs and, and, and also the markets, the stores. All of them start to do that. They were already talking about it on the news the same day that, that uh, Biden you know, made the note in the CDC saying, um, you know, anybody that's been vaccinated, you don't have to wear masks indoors or outdoors anymore. So they were like, okay, well, how can we do this without, you know, getting in trouble or, or trying to discriminate or trying to figure out who's who? Vaccine passports. It's coming, people. Expect it, you know, this week, next week. You know what I mean? That, that's what I would expect. We'll probably be gone, Lord willing, uh, but, but it's coming, meaning it's going to get to the point where everything's forced and, and um, it's time to go. Time to go. Uh, severe weather in the south over the next 72 hours Texas and Louisiana are presently this was yesterday getting hit hard by thunderstorms and it'll be back to back aggressive severe weather all week so we got more cold coming in which is hitting the hot air which is going to cause tornadoes and flooding and rain and hail and all that usual stuff so they're going to be getting pounded out um, pretty much all week Pastor Sandy had another wonderful uh, message. It was a great message regarding Satan being a deceiver and not revealing his plans openly to humanity. That's that's what people think. You mean right now, like, oh, man, the mark's not here. And I'm like, how would you know? I mean, you're not even using wisdom for it. You think Satan's just going to come up and tell you, hey, guess what? This is the mark. Anybody want to take it? Anybody want to take it? Like, come on. 
<laughs> he already got you in his hand. He got the media in his hands. He got, you know what I mean, the music, the, the Hollywood, the cartoons, you know what I mean? He got all that in his hands. They've been molding you for a long time. Every cartoon you see, you know what I mean, has monsters in it, vampires in it. You made all this, all this evil in it. You've been molding you. You guys are desensitized. And Lord's trying to wake you up. Indeed, we're all trying to wake you up uh, through the grace of God, Jesus Christ himself, the Holy Spirit speaking through us. This is not a, of our own. This is, this is God himself trying to wake you up, using messengers and prophets and, and rumors of wars and wars and, 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 and signs in the heavens. And he's doing everything that he can try to wake you up. We want to be out of here. He's postponed it so he can try to wake you up. <laughs> you know, all good. Um, anyway, let, let's keep going. Uh, Israel destroys Hamas leader's home. Um, that that happened uh, yesterday. Um, so he did that, you know what I mean, and his brother. Um, and then... That May 26 moon, this thing is like ridiculous, man. This is a real deal super moon. Uh, I just want to let you guys know this. Uh, outside of just the biblical stuff, like how, how many things are aligning with this moon. So the moon on the 26th is a triple whammy big event. Um, one of the astronomical highlights of 2021, it won't be any full moon. So this is very abnormal. But a combination of a full moon. May's full flower moon, a super moon, and a total lunar eclipse. <laughs> God loves working threes, but it's a triple whammy moon. This sucker's a big deal, man. I'm telling you. It, it is really, really exciting. Really, really exciting. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, this is another uh, super duper wink. Um, a sister in Christ had uh, two rapture dreams that are looking to come to pass now. So a sister in Christ had two rapture dreams from 2020 pointing to the moon, uh, which is a church being in cancer, which is supposed to represent heaven. Uh, and, and, uh, is a super God wing because the brother in Christ had graphed the constellations and blood moon speaking to why this May 17th through 18th is high rapture watch as the moon enters into cancer during the feast times. So this is uh, why it's high rapture watch for the 17th and 18th, not only because this brother found this in the constellation, you know what I mean? And uh, she has all the videos. When you go watch her video, just go to her description and she points to his video. I watched all three. You can even point to her rapture dreams, which she saw cancer, you know what I mean? So she saw the, the, the crab, I believe that's cancer, um, but um, she saw it. And she didn't know what it meant. And then she saw this later. It was last year when she had these rapture dreams. And she had saw uh, the number 26, you know what I mean, as well last year in a dream. So all of that ties into um, why we believe the 17th and 18th is, is high rapture watch time as well. It's speaking to it, you know what I mean, in the constellations. If you go um, watch uh, this video, this is from the Senate Committee on State Affairs. Um, they are speaking, you mean regarding the jab. So Senate Committee on State Affairs hearings, hearing stating the test for the jab was done on animals, but they stopped the testing because the animals kept dying. But still, it, it, it was released to humans, and now humans are the guinea pigs. Even after those findings. So once again, and, and, and he was pressed, he's like, dude, they're, they're trying to make this mandatory at jobs and stuff. And dude, the animals were dying left and right. What, what is going on? What are you guys doing? That's at a state hearing. He says it's written that they, they failed all the tests. So we are in some aggressive times. Once again, there's a depopulation plan and they want to take you out. The Nephilim wants this world on their own. They, they want it. They don't want humans. They go do, we want this thing. So they're going to do everything in their power to take out everybody and those that are not like them, meaning part of the fallen angels. The Nephilim means that you are in the bloodline of fallen angels, just like in the days of Noah. 
then they want to give you their DNA. So either way, they're going to make you them. You know what I mean? And, and that's their objective. Man, there's a lot. I'm, I'm excited, people. Um, man, we, we, we're almost so, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, let's read the verse of the day. Let's read the verse of the day. Um, this is Romans 11.33. Once again, Romans 11.33. Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. Amen. All right, let me go to the surrounding verses here. Um, oh, good. All right. It's uh, we want to say, oh, good, meaning it's not like a huge amount because we're already at 20 minutes, uh, but it's a nice little nugget. It's called the doxology. Uh, hopefully you guys know what a doxology means. I don't know, <laughs> but sounds good. All right. But let, let's go. Romans 11, 33 to 36. And remember, once again, it's always important to read the surrounding verses so you can understand the location, the atmosphere, what, what, what was the Lord trying to say at this time? Because you see a lot of people will take one verse and then they'll make a whole theology off the thing. And you go, wait a minute. No, he was over there when he did that. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. So you, it's really important that you look at the surrounding verses and see what's going on. Okay, 33 36. Uh, oh, we just read 33, so I'll keep going. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been get, who? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. I mean, so once again, the Lord, he's trying to tell you who he is, his sovereignty. He said, dude, I don't need no counsel from somebody. He's like, dude, you know how much knowledge I have and and. And how much we can't comprehend it uh, over in the book of Enoch, um, when he talks about the fallen angels um, and how they taught humans how to put makeup on and all these little nonsense things. And um, the Lord, through Enoch, told them, said, look, you guys only knew this little thing. This is a little bit. And you guys took this little stuff and gave it out and thought you guys knew all kinds of stuff. You don't even know a piece of anything. And, he, and the angels had been with him for, I don't know how many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years, millions of years, you know what I mean, already. And they only knew this much about um, um, the knowledge of God and the secret things. So well, trust me, we'll never be bored in eternity. You know what I mean? God is sovereign and he is above knowledge. He is above perfection. You know what I mean? He created the word knowledge. He created perfection. Like he's above all that. So he's trying to, to tell you about how powerful he is in knowledge, wisdom, counsel, all of that. Because we're, we're, we're just hitting the cusp of this thing. We're not even hitting the cusp, but we're, we're just, we're, we're little sands of the sea in, in knowledge. In, in, the, in the sands of the, uh, of the ocean, you know what I mean, where God's knowledge, it would still keep flowing. It would be eternal. It would be a nonstop flow of sand. And we're only at the beach and we're barely just touching the beach area. We're just starting to see little speckles of sand. Nothing. Okay, people. High rapture watch time. You know what I mean? Uh, all week. But um, today, tomorrow, all the way through the 20th, super duper high rapture watch through the 20th. And then if we make it past the 20th, Lord willing that we don't. <laughs> but if we do, then goodness, man, the 26th, man. <sighs> super duper 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 duper. Duper duper <laughs> rapture watch time, but it's very high. So not high, it's very high between now and the 20th, and then super duper duper on the, on the um, 26th, super duper, if we make it past there. Lord willing that we don't. Okay, people, God bless you and yours, people. Shalom. Love y'all. Jesus Christ surely loves you dearly. Have a good one. Later.